Hey, hello guys, I am Miai. Welcome in my video. Today we have a gaming mouse review of Dornfinger, a German brand, and they released just a new gaming mouse, the Vino E. It's a palm grip slash claw grip gaming mouse with hexagon holes. Lightweight around 70 grams, so we will all test it out in this video. So let's dive deeper in. The mouse comes with a Pixar 3360 and KLGM 2.0 switches of 20 million clicks. The cable is 1.8 meter ultra flexible cord. The measurements of the mouse is 128 by 68 by 41.8 mm. Now some free roam, this Fino E. The mouse has a total of seven programmable buttons, except the left mouse button you cannot programmable. The side, the left side, it has rubber sides, the right side, RGB line, one light adjustment and a DPI customization button, right and left trigger, mouse button, click, of course the scroll wheel, RGB around the scroll wheel and inside the shell, a bottom, a polling rate switch from 125, 500 and 1000 and you do get some included mouse feet in the box, I believe it's PTFV. It's more a palm slash claw grip style of mouse. For fingertip it's not ideal or you must be very giant hands, maybe a little bit like me, <laughs> 21 centimeter hands. This is the left click in total of 7 programmable buttons. Left click. Right click. Scroll wheel click. Scroll wheel. DPI button and the light button to swap multiple profiles of light side button one and side button two very nice click on the sides it is a KL GM 2.0 switches I believe on the left and right trigger it's also a split design so it's split left and right trigger and I also believe it's on the side KL 2.0 because they feel like very special or they did something very right with it but it clicks very great. This is a braided flexible cable can do around your finger and does it hold shape it falls apart a little bit and if you do some push strategy <laughs> you just move the mouse but it's a good cable I wish if it's too floppy, it comes underneath your mouse, like the XM1. I don't like that. That's why I not use the XM1. The RGB is insanely well done. It's very nice. This one profile, and you can swap it either in the software or on this button. RGB here and around the scroll wheel and inside. Around the scroll wheel and inside is basically the DPI profile. So you can swap them in the software and it will change color. They advertise on the box this mouse is 70 grams lightweight design. On my skill though, it is 78, around that. Does this Fino E has squeaking because of the hexagon design or scroll wheel rattle? So we do some hard pressure on the sides. On the sides, it doesn't give any dim. It doesn't matter how much pressure you do, it's firmly solid. On the back though, and on the bottom at the same time, it is firmly solid. There is some squeaking just underneath the split triggers, a little. Not bad, it's only in the corners. The bottom is very sturdy. The only and only downside of this wool mouse, in my opinion, is what Dornfinger can improve on in the future is scroll wheel rattle. This mouse has scroll wheel rattle. That's a little bit sad, but because this product is almost perfect. But yeah, it's not a big deal, it's very minimal though, but I want to mention it. 
So let's take a look to the software of the Fino E. You can customize all kind of buttons. I swap, for example, the DPI button to play and pause of multimedia, but you can also DPI lock and stage if you want DPI plus up or minus, disable macro key function, scrolling, all kinds of thing is all available in the software. Three profiles or you can add more. The driver version number, dorm finger, you can click on it and customize the buttons. You have DPI stages from 100 to 12,000 in steps of 100 increment. You have the lightning effects and speed, but you can also use the button on the mouse. And otherwise you also have mouse parameters, meters. Lift off distance, you can increase it or some window settings or debounce time. And that's pretty cool for drag clickers or you have problems with double clicking. You can customize it by faster or slower. And that's basically the software guys. So let's go to the end conclusion. So guys, the end conclusion is the Dornfinger Fino E something for you? And that's a good question because it is more a palm grip mouse than a claw grip mouse, but I played with 16 hours on live streams, only claw, and it just works fine with at least 21 centimeter hands. I cannot compare different hands, I only have these ones. But the mouse is built rock solid, it doesn't squeak much, only underneath the triggers, and the scroll wheel rattle. The cable is good, the RGB is now nah, I wouldn't say perfect, but it's very good though. I like it. The software doesn't crash at all. You have all functionality in the software. It is great. The clicks, the KL GM 2.0 switches are good. The side buttons are also great. I like them. I don't know. It has some specialty to them. I don't know if they are TTC or anything, but at least the click is done very well. Uh, yeah, so overall the hex con shape, the RGB lighting, the price is 55 euro, that's also great. It has some uh, decent grips on the side. Could maybe be a little bit better, but it is very grippy though. And overall, they gave me spare mouse feet as well, with 3M sticker underneath. So maybe it's rounded PTFV. Is it rounded? At least I think it is PTFV, but if it's 100%, I'm not sure. Definitely the bottom one isn't that very speedy though, but yeah, in my opinion, it is a good mouse, good mouse. But they, Dornfinger can still improve, improve a little bit on their design, especially the scroll wheel scrolling and the scroll wheel rattle. So that is my review. I hope you liked it. It is an honest opinion of mine and uh, I really like this product and I keep enjoying it in the future. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked it. You can consider joining the Discord or maybe subscribe, up to you. It is free though and otherwise I see you guys in the future. Bye bye guys, bye bye.